Okay, I'm on top of that dormer now. I was just right down in that corner when I hit the angry bee nest. See it right in that hip there? They're a little high strung, those fellas. And they're not they're not gonna be happy about anybody walking by there, so. I'm looking at this section from the top and I see a slate out right there, but I see it's got roof cement under it. Again, that's a it's an old problem. I see a lot of roof cement on that bottom edge. Uh, now up here in the front, we're missing slate from there all the way out to the edge here. They're just missing. And I don't know if they found any down on that flat roof over the winter or what, but you got one, two, three, four, four, five slate from this slate right on out to that cocked one there. You got another slate right there that's broken. Again, if you want it to be uh, extra mileish about everything, you could say we're up to two dozen. That was just a little sliver that came out. It was already loose. Okay. And we're looking down from this direction. And uh, again, a lot of roof cement. Evidence of lots of repairs from the past. Uh, No real evidence of serious damage, recent damage, thus far. Spotty, but not congested or serious. The school should really start to consider that all these hips and ridges are open, and they've been open for years. And the wood underneath them is starting to rot. Uh, it didn't happen this winter. A lot of this stuff's been this way. But come down here. I mean, you can see that the underlayment right here is deteriorated. It's been getting wet and dried out and wet and dried out for years. The wood, the grain on the wood is starting to raise up because the softer part of the wood is deteriorated. And on the hips, you can see uh, how open they are. And when they put this roof on originally, they had it mitered and they put their roof cement in there and that was the look they wanted. It was more about a look than waterproof. If they wanted it waterproof, they would have put a metal flashing over it, but they didn't want that look, so they just had the slates mitered and sealed. Well, that's bad for uh, long-term integrity. It just doesn't hold up like that. And you can see that they've been open for years and uh, they're open today. Okay, I'm looking for cracked slates. Don't really see any down there. I don't, you know, I'm starting to get a feel for what's happening on this roof, and it's not anything that, uh, there's no pattern problems from ice and snow up here, let's put it that way. The only thing I'm seeing is questionable cracks and breaks that would have happened uh, uh, as a possibility, not as a certainty. Really, I don't think outside of that one stone that cracked on the uh, fault line, there's been too much certain damage out here. Now, I'm going to hit this gutter without going over it. I'm going to turn this off again. <laughs> 